Hello everyone. Welcome to this basic image processing tutorial presented by Technology Robotics Society, Indian Institute of Technology, Kharagpur. To get started, I would like to tell you that we have already provided a draft of the tutorial on our website www.robotixrobotics.in but we provide you with a special video tutorial wherein we will show you how to actually write the code and run it so that you might have a better understanding of the topic. We will be using Microsoft Visual Studio as a platform to write our code and we will be including functions from the C library OpenCV. Let's get started off by making a new project. We'll choose Win32 console application. We'll enter the name basic IP tutorial. To make things faster and easier to understand, I have already written down a few sample codes which I will be using. First sample code is a code to capture an image from a cam. Let us include these header files into our project. Now we use CV capture and declare a variable capture for capturing the image from the cam. We write down the main function. Now we create a window for our captured image by using the function CV named window and CV move window to move it to a particular location. Here we see in CV named window, this is the name of the window which is which is being created and we use CV underscore window underscore auto size to auto size the window so that it adjusts automatically according to the frame captured and we move we use CV move window to move the, this particular window to a location which is here 100 comma 100 on the screen. We now declare the variable frame to retrieve the captured image. The contents of the captured image is stored in the variable frame. We now capture the image using the function CV capture from cam0 which captures the image from cam0 which is the default camera. In case the capturing is not done properly we display an appropriate error message by the use of the following statements. Now we use the command CV query frame to retrieve the captured image. And to see whether the retrieving is done properly, we again display an error message if it is not done so. We now use CV show image to show the captured image. We put CV weight key 0 so that the window does not disappear once the image is captured and displayed. We now release the variable frame. And we return 0. Now that our program is written, we build it. We see that there are 8 errors in our program which are probably linkage errors that means we have not done the linking part at the beginning of a project so let's do it 
we go to base the tutorial properties and we go to configuration properties linker and in input we have the additional dependencies here we have to add cv.lib cvox.lib highgui.lib cxcore.lib put ok now that we have done the linking part let's try and build it again we see that it has succeeded now let's run the program we see that an image is captured which is this one now we close it hence we have completed a program successfully for capturing an image from a cam and displaying it now we move on to our next program which is converting a bgr image to a grayscale image here instead of capturing the image from a cam we are going to load the image which is stored previously on our computer so we again create a window named grayscale img we write the code in this program itself now we declare a variable grayscale to store the grayscale image which we can write over here now that we have to load the image we use cv load image and in parenthesis we give the name of the image which is to be loaded so we copy this and paste it over here since we don't need to capture the image we remove all this which was used for capturing the image previously we remove the capture command we remove all of this we remove this too and we remove, we remove the error message as well now we have to make sure that this image 1.jpg is present in our project folder so we go to our project folder and see whether it is present or not we go to projects and we go to a project which was basic ip tutorial and here we go to this folder and we see that the image is not present so we need to put it over here and we see that the image is over here 1.jpg so we copy it move to the project folder and paste it over here now the image 1.jpg can be easily loaded from the project folder we now create the image grayscale which will be a single channel image and size same as that of the loaded image so we copy it from here and paste it in our project now we use the command cv cvt color to convert the loaded by bgr image to a grayscale image using the following command and we copy it from here and we paste it in a project we now display the grayscale image as well the name of the window while displaying image should be same as that when created now that a program is written let's build it we see that it has been built successfully 
now we run the code and see so here is our grayscale image of the loaded image 1.jpg and here is the original image we see that it has been successfully converted to a grayscale image so now we close all the windows hence we successfully complete our second code which was converting the BGR image to a grayscale image now let's move on to our third code which is converting the grayscale image further to a binary image we see that the code structure is almost same we have to create a new window for the binary image which is binary img so we create the window over here and move it to a position 100 100 again we declare a variable binary for storing the binary image we now create the binary image which is also a single channel image and size same as that of the loaded image now we use the following command to threshold in this function cv threshold the first argument is the name of the grayscale image the second the name of the binary image and the third the threshold value we note that the value of a pixel in a grayscale image is ranging from 0 to 255 so here we have given the threshold value as 100 so all the pixels having value above 100 will be converted to 255 and all the pixels having value less than 100 will be converted to 0 that is black so we will get a binary image in black and white so let's copy this command and paste in our project now let us display the binary image as well and let's release the variables grayscale and binary now that a code is written let's build it once again we see that it has been successfully built now let's run our code so here is the binary image which we get from this grayscale image with threshold value as 100 so we see this is the binary image and this is the grayscale and this is the original loaded image let's close all these windows hence we complete a third task of converting the grayscale image into a binary image